Hello everyone and welcome back to The Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and it's been a while since we've had a mod review, but a rather exciting one has just dropped. Chaos Marauder Expansion by Dead Baron. And the reason why this mod is quite exciting is because you get a host of new units, not only for Norska, but the Warriors of Chaos and also the Mono God factions too. So what this mod does is it fills out your remaining Marauder roster and has in a brand new unit, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Stat-wise, everyone's kind of used to the devoted Marauder stats. The only difference really is the fact of different weapons and of course the different marks. But believe me, this is going to help out your campaign in a number of different ways. So let's get started and look throughout all the different races. The first thing here is that the Warriors of Chaos will have access to all the devoted Marauders, meaning that your roster is going to get significantly larger now. So if you had, say for example, Great Weapon Marauders, yeah, they were only available to Nurgle, but they're a pretty good unit and now they're available to everyone else. You've also got the additional hand weapons, you've got access to all the different types of weaponry. The only difference is if there's a specific unit that is mono god only, like for example the Hell Scourgers, that's only for Sunesh. You would have also noticed that the Bowman is only available for the Undivided route, and that's mostly because you can only really get them with Norska and with Undivided Warriors. But yeah, this means a bunch more cheap units for you to have access to from the very beginning of your campaign, since you'll be able to actually have a proper front line. This is going to help the Warriors of Chaos, because your units can get rather expensive, and some players do take some time to expand to be able to get more Dark Fortresses. So yeah, it's just a benefit there. Especially if you're playing in harder difficulties, where you're not really going to be getting a lot of Chaos Warriors from the very beginning, but you don't want to be running around with a 7 stack, you want a little bit more. When it comes to the Monogods, their specific Marauder building is going to get a little bit improved, which means that you'll be able to get a bunch of units quite early on actually into your campaign, as most of them are going to be tier 1. They're also available for Nurgle in the cycle building, so don't you worry about that. Now, not so much of an issue for Zinch and I think Nurgle, because their armies are quite decent. Sunesh needs the cheaper Marauders, because you're going to be dealing with the High Elves and they're going to be dogpiling on you. Corn, especially Scarbrand here, is going to benefit it quite dramatically too, as again, Scarbrand and Corn's units are fairly expensive. I do feel like CA needs to touch up the cash a little bit in terms of upkeep, but yeah, now you'll be able to pick up a bunch of Marauders and not have to worry too much about going into Chaos Warriors or even Blood Letters too early. I've had a little bit of a playthrough with Scarbrand. I've been looking for a reason to play Scarbrand while we wait for the next DLC, and this mod has added a lot of breath of fresh air to it, as more Marauders, especially early on, you start off with that building, means that you're going to be able to fight off the Savage Orcs and have a few more forces up and running to get those bonuses that you do want, and a lot more Skulls too. And then finally Norska, which actually ended up getting the bigger change. As you can see here, Norska has access to four new buildings, and these are devoted to each of the gods. With a side mod, which is also recommended in the mods page, you'll also have access to the Cultists of Chaos. So, Norska was always represented to be kind of like Chaos Light. And the problem is that the DLC never allowed for that. Now you have a bunch of devoted troops, especially if you're going to devote yourself to one of the gods, having access to chaos troops of that specific god is going to be quite good. Theming is obviously important and there's a bunch of other mods that will allow you to get like chaos lords in the Norskin faction in case that's what you want, or devoting the Norskin lords. I'm not sure if that one's been updated for a while actually, but yeah, bunch of troops. You can see that Norska is now going to benefit from a lot of devoted marauders, not warriors, so yeah, you're still keeping the identity of Norska, but devoting tribes. This is something which I feel is something we might see in vanilla in the future, actually, considering that I do imagine we'll eventually get, well, you know, knock on wood, a Norska DLC. <laughs> but until then, seeing as CA forgets their existence, you have access to these lads and you're going to be able to have a bit more of a fun campaign, especially as playing with Wolfric. Remember that Wolfric does benefit Marauder heavy armies. So there is one brand new unit in the mod, which is the Marauder Archers. Now keep in mind that it is still a Norskin, so yeah, it's not really the best unit, but it is a decent range there with 115, being able to do some decent damage. 
you get access to them with the standard Norskin factions and also with Chaos Undivided, if you so wish. The idea here is that Norskins historically do use bows, despite what Creative Assembly might have thought when they were creating Norska. In Wyman Fantasy Roleplay, they were historically known to use bows because, yes, they're hunters. They have to survive in harsh climates, and sometimes having a bow is going to help you a lot. So, yeah, it's a pretty good unit for the Norskin faction. I don't see too much use of it with the Chaos Warriors because your damage output is just so high. But with the Norskins, if you're going to be building up Marauder armies, having some bow support is always going to be beneficial for you. Alright, so we're going to talk about the mod in a battle here where I'm playing as a Chaos Lord of Corn with a full Marauder army. So think about this as a very early game army, obviously devoted, because if I'm going to be playing, say, for example, Scarbrand or even Valkyr, I want devoted Marauders as quickly as possible because it fits with the theme. And we're going to talk about this in the aspect of the three different races that get affected here. So first up for the Warriors of Chaos, you have a lot more variety, which is going to allow you to play around with different army loadouts and have just better armies in general for your early game campaign. You're still going to be using them later down the line, especially since they are compliant with your tech tree and stuff like that. So yes, your Marauders are going to be very much useful for you as you start invading into Orthwan, going down into the Empire, or whatever you're doing, and depending on what campaign map. Had a decent amount of time to play around with it, and yep, it's pretty fun. I feel like everyone kind of benefits from it, so it's not just Archeon. You've got the devoted ones for, like, Corn. if you play as Valkyr, if you want to play as one of the Mono God ones. It just really does help out here. And when we look towards the Mono God factions, again, some cheaper units to be able to build up proper armies. Kairos, for example, is a little bit screwed where he is, so getting a bit of extra cheaper troops with their barriers, yeah, that's going to be quite good. Nakari the same, as you're going to be dealing with so many High Elves. I mean, they're still not the best units to deal against High Elves, it's very obvious, but it's still better than nothing. The Corn faction, I think, benefits very heavily from this, as they are cheaper to maintain, so it's going to be just a bit better for you in terms of wanting to build up a few different armies to destroy multiple areas at the same time, and just in general defend yourself, as Corn's expansion terms aren't really the best. Nogal will get a bunch more units to have in the back end because of the whole cycle system, and really the one who benefits fits this from the most is Norska, right? Having access to a bunch of units, some devoted units, some marks, it's just going to make your campaigns a little bit easier. If you ever decide to punish yourself through a Norska campaign, you might as well mod it out as much as possible. But yeah, I mean, you can see here, big damage is being done. Uh, I didn't really pay too much attention to the cultists too much, but versus a pretty gun-heavy and armor-piercing heavy army for the Empire, the Norskins are performing incredibly well, and I think this is very, very obvious on screen. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. The mod can be found in the description below. Once again, Dead Baron being an absolute awesome agent of chaos. I'll see you all again very, very soon. I'll let the rest of the battle play out in case you want to see it, and have a good day. Blood. the 
as marauders. Domination or death. Marauders attack. Wanted a suffering. Cultist blood god. <laughs> 